It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. Mercer County Tournament rolls on as six seed Nottingham standing at 16 and seven on the campaign. Visit the Irish of Notre Dame, the three seed standing at 14 and eight. This broadcast sponsored in part by Capital Health System, Hold'em and Ford Subaru. The Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, the Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, New Jersey Education Association, Notre Dame High School, Hamilton Township Education Association, the Trentonian, Saw Funeral Homes, Hamilton Township Division of Health, the Italian People's Bakery, Hyundai of Trenton, Jammer Doors, and Mako in Ewing. Great to be back with you once again. Keith Noonan alongside Mercer County Hall of Famer Rich Fisher and Heightstown coach Don DeLeo. It's great to Double have him back. Double back on the air. And remember, Don DeLeo filled in for you when you went to Elton John last year. Yeah, I know. He's trying to move in on my job. I, yes. I get it. So we <laughs> called him back. I've actually got some tickets for you, Fish. For oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Whatever. I'll give you my list, what, what I need later. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for having me. Don, so just quickly before we get to the coaches' interviews, six seed, three seed, obviously Nottingham is going to have to deal with Steesher in the middle. 100%. Listen, you know, the, the biggest thing is this, is we all know this that this year in the Mercer County area, every given night, anybody can beat anybody. So three and six really doesn't matter tonight. Yeah, and Don, I mean, they didn't have Steesher the first time when these two teams met. Now they do. What does a team do? What did you try to do with a guy like Steesher? He's such a force. I mean, obviously we're lucky enough to have a big guy in Robert Eve, so it's a little bit different. But for other teams, you know, I feel like a lot of times they're looking to speed the game up and make it hard for the Notre Dame guards to get it inside to them. Yeah, and you look at the – I was talking to Fish before off the air. I mean, you look at their plus-minuses, these two teams. Notre Dame plus 159 in the season. Nottingham plus 177. Awfully close with numbers like that. So this on paper should be a great game. Looking forward to it. No yeah, question. The winner will get Hamilton West, which took yep. a – I think it was 48-47. It was a one-point win. 49-48. 49-48. Yep. Uh, Robbinsville missing a three at the buzzer to, to win it. And uh, – so, whatever, we'll get to that later. Uh, right now, you know, this game is interesting. People have questioned the seeding of Nottingham being sixth and Notre Dame being third hmm. because of Nottingham beating Notre Dame. And Chris Raba, who will not hesitate to complain if he thinks he's wrong, if he's <laughs> wrong, said flat out, I have no problem with this seeding. He said, we have lost to six of the seven teams that are in the tournament. He said the only team we beat was Notre Dame, and they didn't have Steesher. So, yeah, we're, we're a six seed. We'll take our medicine. So he has no problem with that. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, look, those middle four teams, we've said it before, you could throw them in a, in a barrel, and, and, you know, we saw it in the first game, yep. a one-point game. We could see another one in this game. But, uh, you know, why don't we uh, get the coaches' takes on this? Is, are we ready for that? Absolutely. All right. Go so ahead. here we'll, we'll start with, uh, again, Chris Raba has begged off on the pregame interview because he's <laughs> never won a game when he did it. So we have uh, his assistant coach, Anthony Austin. Here we go. We are with Nottingham assistant coach Anthony Jellybean Austin, who is 1-0 doing the pregame interviews, which is why Chris Raba will no longer do an interview. He's sitting to our right quietly. Uh, and uh, this has the ear markings of, an, of a war going right down to the wire tonight. Uh, we're looking forward to it. The first time we played them, they didn't have their uh, best player, Shisha. So we're, we're definitely looking forward to it. It's Mercer County tournament. Nothing better around here. Nothing better. Yeah, now you guys won without Steesher, but, I mean, he is the, a massive part of that team. Six foot eight, obviously you have nobody that can match up with him that way. What do you do with a guy like that? Do you collapse around him, or what? how do you take care of him? Um, we're going we gonna to throw bodies. We throw bodies at him. Let, we got a couple bigs that going to get a chance on him. And then we just got to clamp out their guards, make it hard for them to get the ball into him. Now, you guys are a little uh, under the weather. I mean, I know Jordan played against Marlboro. Didn't really feel good. Uh, TJ's coming back, but we don't know how – what percent he's at uh you know how key is it those guys have to be at their at, you know maybe not their best but give it their best shot 
Uh, I mean, well, this we try to let the guys know around this time of the year, everybody's banged up. So whatever they can give, everybody got to step up, and we, 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 we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Uh, you know, the winner of this goes to the arena. You guys have been there many times. Uh, how much? How excited do the kids get? How much, how much of a motivator is that for these kids to get to the arena? Us having a couple seniors, they're they're very motivated to get back. Last year we lost the TCA in the game before the championship, so our senior class are is in our junior class because we played young guys last year. They're really motivated to get back to the arena. Right, absolutely, and. Uh, I guess, uh, well, we won't go into the next game yet. Let's take care of this one first. You're on the road, um, and, you know, your co- you know, Chris said he, he doesn't mind this seed. He said, you know, we we only beat one team that's in this tournament, uh, even though it was Notre Dame. I, how much more of a challenge is it being on the road than in your own gym? Definitely playing at Nottingham is way easier for us. Um, it's a real home court advantage, too. Um, but being on a roll with upperclassmen is a little easy. Like, we, we're, we'll be here ready to accept the challenge. All right, brother. Jelly Bean Austin, thank you. Good luck. Hopefully we go 2-0 today. Too. All right, we are back with the host coach, Tim Stevens of Notre Dame, here at Notre Dame High School. And, Tim, Mercer County Tournament, you're the third seed. That Those three through six seeds could have gone any which way. Uh, I guess you feel pretty good about having a home game in this first round, huh? Absolutely. You love to play at home, but like you said, it, you, you have an argument for every one of us. So I expect nothing but good games. You know, I was just watching Robinsville Hamilton. That's a one point game. And yeah. I expect the same kind of play out of both these teams tonight. Yeah, exactly. I mean, all four teams just throw them in a blender and mix them up. Now, you're you're playing a team that beat you, but you didn't have Steeser Mathalier. I mean, not having Steeser, that's a that, that's a pretty bad, <laughs> pretty bad thing not to have. I mean, how good is it to have him back for this game? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's great to have Steve back. We always want to play with him out there. But we got other guys that will step up in big moments. So, you know, we gave it a good fight the other ga- last game against Nottingham, and, and we know tonight's going to be another great one. Yeah, I mean, you figure they're probably going to put some bodies on him and everything else, and other guys have to step up. But, yeah, I mean, you do. You've had guys stepping up all year, like Foley and a few of those other guys. Talk about those other guys and what they've done. I, I mean, all five starters, any one of them could go off any night between Croce, Cottrell, Foley, Blahos. You know, they, they can all put the ball in the basket. So, you know, when, when Steve's getting double team, it's just about who's the hot hand and, and who's going to hit those shots when we need them to. Right. And uh, when you look at Nottingham, tough to guard them. There's a lot of different guys that can score. Everybody touches the ball. I guess you got to play pretty honest, straight-up defense with them, huh? And that's the thing. I mean, they got five guys that are going to – Easily go for double digits any night, so we, you have to worry about all five. It's not keen on one guy take them away. You do that, the next guy's going to hurt you. So, you, and you got guys coming off the bench that can score just as well. So we got to make sure that we're we're playing our Notre Dame defense and we're flying around after the ball. All right, Tim Stevens, thanks and good luck. Thank you, Rich. All right, Mr. Fisher. <laughs> all right, those were the coaches before the matchup, and uh, they both kind of talked about it. Right, the focus is going to be on Steesher. And can Nottingham do enough to stop him is going to be the question. Uh, well, I mean, you know, Don, you know as well as anybody, uh, one man doesn't make a team. He can make right. a big difference, but not a team. Uh, if they do stop him, you know, like we heard Tim say, they have four other guys that can really play, right? It's not just about top stopping him. No, for sure. They uh, have a, a senior-led group with, uh, with Croce and Contrell, you know, Vajos, guys that have – all, every game this year have stepped up and done their job. So, and could be a lot of uh, threes depending on some of those guys, whether it be Foley, Vlahos, Croce, Cottrell, all good shooters. Well, and we'll I, see. you know, I think a big thing today, too, is we saw against Hopewell the other day, uh, you know, J.P. Dickerson, hold on, National Anthem. Everybody up. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. 
The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs. Plus, we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Here are three exceptional dining spots. PJ's Pancake House, bringing you the best pancakes since 1962, along with great burgers and sandwiches. More than just breakfast, PJ's Pancake House, with four locations in Mercer County. In Princeton, visit More Than Q Barbecue, offering savory barbecue fusion dishes in homemade sauces. And when in Lambertville, visit Tavola Rustica for classic Italian dishes like pasta, veal, chicken, and their famous pizza. All three great restaurants are good. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Welcome back to Notre Dame. Uh, J.P. Dickerson getting introduced starting lineups. Joe Lemley, a starter for Chris Robbins' team. The sixth seed coming in. T.J. Keese, who was out with an ankle injury, he's starting. And of course, Jordan Raba getting the start. And Dom Raymond. And Raba had been down with a leg injury. But he's been back the last few games. Who's that? Ray uh, Raymond? Raba. Oh, Raba. Well, he came back, but. They were almost not going to uh, play him today, Jordan Raba. Correct. When I talked to Chris earlier this morning, he said that uh, he went, he tried to go against Marlboro, and it was it was too painful. Then I came in, I saw him warming up, and uh, he was in there. So yep. he's going to give it a, a shot. Uh, T.J. Keese, we'll see. He's got an ankle issue. He's obviously the, a major, major key to this team. They started playing really well when he came in. So... Um, well, but the point I was going to make before the anthem was uh, we saw J.P. Dickerson, how good he is at penetrating and getting to the basket. But uh, he, he's not, you know, reluctant to kick it back out. I almost think that's really going to be have to be what happens today because when you're driving in and you got Mathalia in there waiting for you, <laughs> you know, that's going to be tough. So I think a big key is going to be how well these Nottingham three-point shooters can shoot the ball. If, you know, if Nathalie is clogging the middle and Dickerson's kicking back out, or if they're just trying to not even go in the middle and just, you know, make shot long shots. So we'll see what happens is how that concern. For Notre Dame, Luke Foley, Chris Blahos, Jake Croce, Donovan Cottrell, and Stecher Mathelier, the starters for the Irish. First round, Mercer County Tournament, trip to Cure Insurance Arena on the line. Irish start with it. Man to man out of the gate for Chris Raba's team and Stecher high in the post. Back out to Foley. Foley, a guy that is a really good passer. He's not going to take a ton of shots. No, he he's facilitates a facilitator, the offense. Yeah, for sure. Patrell thought about it. That's a three. No good. Put up by Vlahos. Lemley will take it out. Dickerson moves inside, <laughs> blocked away by Stecher. Well, he just talked about it, and it happened. <laughs> Passed it back to him, and Stecher was out of play. So North Stars will have it underneath. Don, as a coach, what's it like at the start of a tournament? How much more are the butterflies? We know players got to be nervous, but as a coach, are you a little more amped up at the start of these games like this? Uh, very much so. I mean, this morning against Allentown, uh, I was up at 3 a.m., couldn't sleep, <laughs> for the MCI. Think about how these guys are doing for the MCT right now. <laughs> Raymond missed the three. Vlahos inside. Scoop layup, no good. He's able to grab it, and then it's taken away by Dickerson. Dickerson stumbles. Luke Foley, good defense. Ball went out of bounds. Nottingham will have it. Dickerson bounces it in. Here's TJ Keese. This was like today's Trenton PDS game. We had a <laughs> goose eggs for like two minutes, first two minutes. 
I think it was closer to three. Yeah, it was. Keese down on the block. Keese trying to step in. Good defense by Vlahos. Dom Raymond having trouble. Loose ball picked up by the Stars. And they'll reset the offense. Keese trying to move in once again and still can't. Dom Raymond going strong to the rim, but he missed the shot. Good defense by Stiescher. Raymond will not be intimidated by anybody. Looks like Foley <laughs> got hit in the eye. And Croce just threw it away. Tim Stevens looking around like, what just happened there? <laughs> and he's going to come out onto the floor and get Foley out of the game. Looked like he got poked in the eye. John Merluis will come in to relieve him. Goes by JP. There you go. There you go. You'd like. See, we, get the, in, we get the inside scoops here. <laughs> With old double D. Raba corner three. A little strong. Gets it back. Floater in the lane. No good. Rebounded by the Irish. Vlahos. Merlus taking it all the way. Blocked from behind by Keese. But there's Stiescher. He puts it up. Missed. Got fouled. Missed again. Two shots upcoming for Stiescher. Foul number 23, Dom Raymond. One thing that you know that Orr Stars have to try to avoid is those fouls down low getting guys like Raymond in foul trouble. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, I mean, when you have a guy like Nathalier, you can, you, he can get guys in foul trouble quick. I mean, you want to be aggressive on him, but you got to walk that fine line. First blood drawn by the Irish, one to nothing, yeah. one of two from the line. <laughs> Lemley. First blood wasn't it was more a trickle, <laughs> not a gush. <laughs> it was like that Trenton eight nothing run that took about a half hour. Yeah, the walk. <laughs> Three tried by Raba and it went over the backboard. Looking for the Irish number eleven, Noah <laughs> Mathis. Well, not I am struggling to get a shot down early. Noah Mathis comes in for the Irish. Merluis working on Dickerson. Merluis gets it back up top. Raba defending. Cottrell gets open. Kick to the corner. Still no shot there. Good defense by Nottingham. Inside, Vlahos kicks it out. Cottrell can't hit. Into the corner, off the hands of Merluis, going the other way. Don, your initial thoughts? Uh, I think that both teams have done a decent job guarding in the half court so far. I think they're both making each other work for uh, the best shot possible. So, looking to see, hopefully, if either one of these coaches goes to their bag of tricks and goes for maybe a go-to Post up like that from Dom Raymond, or maybe a go-to quick hitter. Stolen away, Keese tried to thread the needle, but it's taken right back by the Irish. Vlahos <laughs> running the floor. Vlahos steps inside, tip, and a steal by Raba. Who? Deflected, out of play. North Stars will have it. Flash, I don't know if I've ever seen more than we've seen this season. A turnover <laughs> followed right away by a turnover. <laughs> we have seen that <laughs> countless times. 4.08, first quarter. one nothing. bottom of the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> bottom That's, of the sixth, actually. Joe Drules is here, so he, Yes. He, <laughs> Dickerson has the North Stars on the board, two to one. Croce working it up the floor. Patrell over to Vlahos, into the corner. J.P. Merluis feeds inside. Croce fell down, threw it away. Mm. Little, little nerves maybe, Dom, you think? A little nerves? Uh, I think, honestly, it's two teams that play really, really hard defensively, so they're making them work. Yeah. Well, yeah. And Steve's are out of the game already. Definitely and changed he was, the dynamic. Yeah, and he was not happy 
with the one of two from the line and a travel. Dickerson walked. Yeah, Dickerson saw the big guy on the bench and he said, I'm going right to the rack. Well, and, and like Don pointed out, they went right down to Dom Raymond when they saw that Steesher was out of the game. Right. Dom Raymond is relentless. He's just relentless. His effort is unmatched. Foley back in the game. I don't want to say that. <laughs> There's kids I out did. there that give good effort. Sure. <laughs> Shot no good by Vlahos. Up ahead. A foul. Dickerson got hit. Smiling Abe with the call. <laughs> Abe be the only guy in the world to tee up and smile while he <laughs> did it. <laughs> Uh, I can vouch for that. Yeah. Uh, th that happened last year. <laughs> Did it really? Uh, at a game at West Windsor South. Uh, we were up about, up about 30. And uh, I got a technical for being a little overzealous. And Abe came over and gave it to me and was just smiling. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> Nathalie back in the game. I guess he figured he could smile if he were up 30. Sure. <laughs> if he was teeing you up in a one-pointer. Listen, you guys know I'm, I'm really nice to the officials. That's right. <laughs> Always. That's what they tell us. Yep. <laughs> That's what I'm paying to say. Irish again throwing the ball around. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Robba coming back in. Lemley coming out. Robba to inbound. There's a couple of times here that the Irish just complete miscommunication. I see Bobby Fusick here. See our old buddy? Flash? What's that? Bobby Fusick sitting in the sitting in the end zone here. Oh yeah. Always good to see Bobby. Notre Dame girls got a big win today at Allentown. Is that right? According to Ann DeBille, yes. Nice. Yep, got a three-pointer, so they'll be they'll be taking the cure. Keys oh. high to the rim <laughs> and missed the shot. That would have been nice. Foley bringing it up. The pass to Croce. Croce fires across to the other wing. Cottrell over to Foley. Foley gives it off. Lajos hits the jump shot. Ties up the game at three. Nice little mid-range jumper. Yep, right from the free throw line. Don, do you find that there aren't a lot of high school guys that can hit that mid-range jumper consistently? 100%. Honestly, when we when we talk about what we're going to give up or, or take away, we tell guys to give them a mid-range because a lot of guys aren't working on that shot anymore. Right. Yeah, it, I mean, it seems to me when I watch kids come out to warm up, they immediately go behind that three-point line and start shooting. Yeah, we can thank Steph Curry for that. Yeah, right. Raymond moves in, and then he can't score. Just missed. The rebound by Croce. Notre Dame moving quickly. Pass across the floor to the other wing. Croce sets up for three. Bang! Notre Dame, 6-3 lead. The North Stars have to make sure they pick up Jake Croce in transition. That's his shot. He loves to hit it from the trail. North Stars working it around the arc. Raymond, who tried a three before, to walk. Keese with a turnover. <laughs> I'm still laughing about the smiling technical. <laughs> oh, that's the best. As he comes right here in front of us. Yes, there he is. <laughs> Foley trying to work it into the corner out of bounds. Smile and Abe all over it. DJ Keese doesn't look like he's too slowed by that ankle. No, he looks okay. Yeah. Help, help, help. Help. Work it down to Steesher. Lathelier throws it away. Back court. That's about the fourth time. If you notice, the North Stars are really doing a good job of getting Steesher away from the block area, They're making him post up a lot higher than he used to. And as you can see, it's, it's affecting his game. Right, yeah, that's a great, that's a great point. Yeah, I mean, you can't get him where he can do his, his, his best work. <laughs> and he has a jump shot, too. I mean, you watch it. Yeah, granted, it's in warm-ups, but 
It looks like he can shoot, but you don't see it often. Dickerson will hold 20 seconds opening quarter. 15 seconds. And we'll see when they go. Now they'll go. Six seconds. Kick out. Shot for three. Alexander ends the first quarter. <laughs> Tie game at six apiece. Mercer County that's Tournament one round one. I mean, that's just textbook basketball. J.P. Dickerson drives it to the lane, gets the two feet, finds an open teammate, bang for a three. Six to six after one. Back from Notre Dame right after this on WBCB. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Back here from Notre Dame, Fish telling stories, of course, during the break, <laughs> as he always yeah, yeah, yeah. does, and we come back laughing. Well, this is <laughs> Keith Noonan, Rich Fisher, Don DeLeo with you from Notre Dame, and a very low scoring one, and a quarter that Fish likes because he doesn't have to take too long to add up the stats. Not at all. <laughs> Make his job easy. Yeah, exactly. But a big three at the end. Pull up jump shot, Lemley, a little short. Ball batted up in the air and out of play off of Raymond. Somehow, though, these things have a way of evening out. Yes. <laughs> Little full court pressure brought by the North Stars. Foley down to Steesher, back to Foley. Foley launches, and he connects. Corner three, Luke Foley. The North Stars are going to have to be careful from doubling down on the post, right directly down. They're going to kick out three of it all night long. Yeah, I mean, that that's a tough, that, that's a little tough. you got to really walk a tightrope there, don't you? Because you don't want to have Stesher one-on-one, -on -one, but you, like you said, you don't want to leave guys open either. Keese passes left. Raymond pumps for a three. Looking around, finds Lemley. Alexander. Fresh off the three, floater, won't go. Fight for the rebound, oh. ends up in Dom Raymond's hands, and he scores off the window. Beautiful move. He is just so fundamentally sound, man. I love watching Dom Raymond play. Yep, and the hustle he gives. Uh, Merluce. I, I agree with you, Don. I, love, I, I said it before, I love to watch him play. He gives you everything he's got. Yep. And he's battling Steeser down there. Merluce, high to the rim, missed the shot. Ball deflected, and Nottingham will have it. You know, one thing we have to remember about Steescher, too, is he, he is still kind of a work in progress. I mean, he came over, and, you know, even last year, they were they were saying he's very unpolished. You know, there, there's things he needs to learn and things like that. And uh, I can't wait to see him with some college coaching, what, what he could turn into. Dickerson spins, oh. nice move, scores! Great footwork around the rim from J.P. Dickerson. Through the contact. Nottingham takes the lead, 10 to nine. Croce gets it down low, hop step, Steesher to the free throw line, second foul on Raymond. That's not good for Nottingham. Definitely is not. You know, Don, another way to sort of short circuit a big guy, can't you try to try and, and pressure the guards to stop them from getting them the ball too? For sure, for sure. I expect the North Stars at some point during this 
maybe end of this first half, early second half to go to their 1-3-1 full court to try to speed up the guards and try to limit Stecher's touches in the post. Yeah. Jacob Dormerville comes in for Dom Raymond. Stecher missed them both. Leaping up high to grab the rebound is J.P. Dickerson. He backs out into the corner. Fires it across to the other corner. Alexander for three. Got it! How's that for ball movement? Great extra pass by Joe Lemley out of the corner. Yeah, Nottingham up 13 to nine. Clear across the pass, got it over everybody, and then they kick it out. That was beautiful. Croce. Nails it. That's a triple. Starting to, they're starting to get in the flow now. Uh huh. Lemley spots up, launches. A little too strong, and Dormerville got tied up. I think they called a foul. And they called a foul on Stecher. Huh. Yeah. Robba coming in. Lemley coming out. Just under five minutes to play, second quarter. Raba hands it off to Dickerson. JP passes left, pass up top, straight on, Keese. Alexander, North Star swinging it around. Keese guarded by Foley. Keese moves in, passes out. Rama tracks it down. Pass into the corner. Foley, good defense. Driving uh -oh. in, a foul! Doesn't get the roll. And it's TJ Keese to the stripe. It teased him a little bit, but. So the foul's on the floor. Well, Nottingham certainly took some time there looking for the right shot. Rochi comes out. Mathis back in. Dickerson on the block, double team. Loose ball out on Nottingham. Foley will walk it up. Into the front court, Stecher. Trying to get it back to him, it's knocked away. Good job by Dormerville. To the rim, a foul. And a hard foul at that. Dickerson will go to the line. Great job by Keyes getting in the passing lane and uh, leading to a transition bucket. Tom, when you played uh, Nottingham, did they have Keyes then? Yep, they had yeah. everybody. Because they, he seems to have really made a big difference. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you saw him before, before Keyes came. But, you know, you talk to Chris, and he just raves about the difference he's made in this team. Yes, uh, after talking to Chris a little bit about it, you know, he raved about how much of a true point guard Keese right. is. And honestly, you can see the difference in their play with him at the helm. Keese can't connect on either one. Yeah, he said we actually have a real, oh, a nice pass. A loose slot pass all alone, layup converted by Noah Mathis. Wow, nobody got back on that. No, it's rare to see a Nottingham team do that. Alexander works it up top. JP moves in. Floating shot off the glass. No, oh. but there's the rebound and put back. He is relentless around the glass. Yeah, he huh. is. He loves it. <laughs> he has to be one of the best athletes in the league. 15-14 and Dickerson and on Q, creates a turnover. Yeah, there he comes. <laughs> Let me Rama, see what else I can do. Corner three, bang! Right, Rob is showing a little emotion there. I had to feel good for him. 18-14, North Stars with a lead. Foley got Ooh, knocked down. Hard. I think this is the pace that the North Stars want this game at right now. They've begun yeah. to get in the passing lane. They've begun to get transition, transition opportunities, starting to get extra passes for threes. The North Stars are truly on the momentum upswing right now. Foley gets the inbound. Mathis looking down low off Stecher's hand. 
They are really making it uncomfortable for him. <laughs> Do you expect anything different from Chris Raba? Not really. <laughs> great, great response there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, did I have to think hard about that? <laughs> <or>? <laughs> no, I don't think so. We wouldn't want to make you do that. <laughs> no. We <can't>. Thanks. <laughs> Keys gives to Dickerson. Dickerson tries to move in. Keese behind the back dribble. He falls down and somehow was able to Got a break shovel there. it over. And Robert collected it. Keese almost traveled. Alexander, another three, got it! If you notice, Dante Alexander! If you notice, the North Stars are really starting to use a lot of ball screen action to bring Stisha away from the basket, and he has to go under every ball screen, which is leading to a bunch of open jump shots for the North Stars. Yeah, and they're taking advantage of it, yep. See, that's the kind of stuff we don't get from me. <laughs> we, need that, we need that coach input. But we get all the other good nooks and crannies from you, Fish. <laughs> yes. All the stories, you know? Yeah, the stories. <laughs> I try not to say anything that might come off really stupid, like he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> we, we don't think that about you, Fish, at all. <laughs> Thanks, Double D. 21-14, <laughs> Nottingham with the lead. Second quarter, 219. And... Let me tell you something about Dante. He last couple times we've seen him, this kid's gone off. Remember him against Hopewell coming off the bench? Yeah. Hitting those threes at the end of the first half and then the second half. He was big against us too at Nottingham or uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, it's nice. To, nice to have that firepower come in. Pass tipped. Goes into the seats. Fans are still coming in here. I think those are some Hamilton West players are. coming in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I see a bunch of, I see some Hamilton West, I see some yep. Ewing, yep. a little bit of everything, a little TCA. They both won today, <laughs> Foley, floating shot, no good. Out of bounds, and they say it was deflected by the Irish, not sure about that. Dickerson will walk it up. Think they had to pay to get in? I don't know. Maybe extra. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're gonna scout these teams. You gotta. That's right. Pay You're up. gonna come see it. Right, exactly. <laughs> Spins inside. Dickerson got it to go. What a move. That was nifty. That's nine for Dickerson now. Cottrell dribbles in. Shovel pass. Nice shot by Steezer. First field goal of the game for Steesher. 90 seconds to go, first half. JP directing traffic. Chris Robba will slow things down. Fake the handoff to Lemley, who's back in, and... Whoa! <laughs> I thought Time he was getting out. ready to tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> Almost looked like it. Don, can you see over there? You're kind of cut off, aren't you, a little bit? I'm, I'm, I'm making it work. Yeah. <laughs> now, you, now you know how we feel at Trenton. <laughs> we got cheerleaders on one side of us. We got fans sitting in front of us. I mean, I think this, this gym makes you appreciate how close you are in the Heights Town gym. Right. Right. Yeah. Today's game brought, side. brought to you in part by the Hamilton Township Education Association. One of which all of their students the best of luck. This message brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. Yeah, what happened to me? District <laughs> Community Relations Committee is comprised of community and district staff members committed to meeting the needs of the Hamilton Township School Districts. Join their meetings on the third Thursday of the month. Next meeting is February 16th. Email any questions to htsdnj.org. Uh, to DCR at hdsdnj.org. <laughs> oh, they say all that. Well, <coughs> uh, you, go ahead. Yeah, you said I was. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't forget, if you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian, written by me, by the way. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian. or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Trentonian. Rick Fortenbaugh will have a story on the Trenton win 
And Greg, uh, Greg Johnson was over at Robbinsville 9 a.m., so we'll have a lot of it covered for you tomorrow. Full coverage. Was there anybody at uh, Allentown Heights at 9 a.m. this morning? <laughs> you know, the guy slept through that. <laughs> <laughs> if he was there, they would have interviewed you, pal. Ah, hurtful. <laughs> Less hurtful. than a minute, second quarter. North Stars have played a very, very good half. And a foul on the front court. Great job by Keese to sell that contact from Chris Valhos out front. 43 seconds left. 23 to 16. Nottingham. Lemley fakes and then gives it in. Well, they waited a while in the first quarter. Yeah. Nailed it. Well, they love to hit, yeah, love to hit one now. Go in nine, possibly ten point lead. Alexander hit a three at the just before the buzzer in the first quarter. Dickerson dribbling around. Dishes down low. Dormaville oh. doesn't get it, but he gets a second oh. effort and missed. Ten seconds. Ah, that hung out on the rim. Foley floats it into the corner. Cottrell grabs it. Has it knocked loose. Foley launches. Got knocked down. No whistle. One second left, and that's it. A sequence of events right there. I actually think it's a good no call. I thought uh, Foley was kind of looking to initiate the contact on that three. So yeah, he tried to sell it. <laughs> Halftime here at Notre Dame, Mercer County Tournament. Nottingham has a 23-16 lead at the break, and we'll be back to talk about it in a moment on WBCB. Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. Your vehicle is in good hands at Haldeman Collision, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They do it all at Haldeman Collision. Minor dents and dings, bumpers, windshields, major body, and frame damage. Free estimates, 24-hour towing, most insurance accepted, and loaners available. Haldeman Collision works with all makes and models. They'll go out of their way to getting your car back in brand new condition. Haldeman Collision, conveniently located 20 minutes from Langhorne, Princeton, Ewing, on Route 33 in Hamilton Township. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. This is Angela Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of our Mercer County student-athletes the best of luck, and also urge parents to stay involved in your children's school activities. Extracurricular events are a great way to keep your sons and daughters focused, and it does not have to be athletics. They can be involved with the drama club, the school band, even the debate team. An involved student today has a brighter future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and I hope you enjoy today's game. It's a new year at Team Toyota, and we're still here for you. With new Toyota models arriving weekly with no markups above MSRP. And with selection. With over 200 certified Toyotas and used cars for every budget, you can drive one home today. 
and with service. Check out our seasonal specials that will save you time and money. So Happy New Year. We're always here for you at one of our three locations in Princeton, Langhorne, and Glen Mills, or at teamtoyota.net. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs, plus we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Here are three exceptional dining spots. PJ's Pancake House, bringing you the best pancakes since 1962, along with great burgers and sandwiches. More than just breakfast, PJ's Pancake House, with four locations in Mercer County. In Princeton, visit More Than Q Barbecue, offering savory barbecue fusion dishes in homemade sauces. And when in Lambertville, visit Tavola Rustica for classic Italian dishes, like pasta, veal, chicken, and their famous pizza. All three great restaurants are good. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Welcome back to Notre Dame. Keith Noonan and Rich Fisher, Don DeLeo with you. First round of the Mercer County Tournament here on WBCB. A triple header. How this is you? the last leg. How you doing, buddy? Great. As we Great. wrap up halftime festivities, 23 to 16, Nottingham having the lead over the Irish of Notre Dame Fish. Yes, let's run through the scoring real quick, and then we're going to talk to Don about this year's Mercer County Tournament and the way it's been set up. Uh, Real quick, Dante Alexander and J.P. Dickerson, nine points each for the Stars. Jordan Robb has got three. Dom Raymond has two. Nottingham shooting nine for 22 from the field, one for four from the foul line. Uh, Stars with only four turnovers, doing a good job there. Um, Notre Dame, <laughs> six for Jake Croce, three for Luke Hope Foley, just three for Steve Smithalier so far. Noah Mathis with two, and Chris Vlahos with two. The Irish shooting six for 12. They only, they only have 12 shots. Uh, they have eight turnovers, and they too are one for four from the line, so neither team lighting it up at the foul line. Uh, rebounding, Nottingham has an 11 to seven edge, and uh, 
you know, as, as you heard Don DeLeo tell you, uh, they've done a good job of keeping Station Mathalia away from the basket, not letting him get in a comfort zone and not letting him do much. But uh, we want to talk about the, the tournament because it's every year it's been 16 teams, sometimes 17 or 18. They'll have a couple play-in games. This year it was cut to eight, and then another tournament of eight, the B tournament or whatever they call it. We like I, the MCI. We like uh, the Morse County Invitational. The, uh, I the, got B, the B bracket, we, we take offense to that. I'm Thank sorry. You. All right. All right. Thank I you. got to be politically correct here. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, don't, uh, don't be sensitive. I, Chris Raba, who is in the MCT, is livid about this setup. He says, you know, there's been so many upsets over the years and stuff, and you're not giving them the chance. Don, you were one of the victims of this this year. What are your thoughts on it? Um, so listen, I'll give it to you in two folds, right? I think from on one aspect of it, it was they, they broke it into two brackets because in recent years, the one seed has pummeled the 16 seed by 50, right? And we again, we're not trying to let everyone everybody win, but we also want to we want to have good games, right? So you know, I think that they went to two tournaments because of that. Uh, on the flip side, though, now as a team that's in the in the MCI, not the B bracket, you know. We're now playing against teams that we either beat or competed against, but you know, in, with a bucket or two. That you know, it's it's really turning into a to a fun atmosphere. You know, our kids are excited to, to hang a banner, an MCI banner. I, I suppose that's another way of looking at it. You can get uh, you know a uh, a banner. There is two champions, so if you look at it that way, um, I don't know myself. I like the 16 teams. I like the chance of seeing seeing some upsets. Uh, what, but here's the other thing, though, Dom, and this is the thing that Chris doesn't like. He says, look, if you're going to make those, if you're going to let crown two champions, let the MCI guys go to the arena, too. Let them have the experience. So that's it's funny you say that because I actually brought that up to my AD, and I said, hey, you know, why are the MCI participants, the champions, not going to the arena? And uh, he said to me that, you know, that's a great question, and we're not sure, and we'll bring it up next year. Yeah, nobody seems sure. Robert says he's tried to find out why all this goes on, and nobody tells him, so. You know. Um. Shot in the corner for three. No good from Croce. Yeah, done done does. quickly. If you're coaching Notre Dame, obviously they, they did not play particularly well. They didn't play their normal style of basketball. What adjustments are you making right now? I'm finding every way possible to get Stisha the ball around the rim. I'm doing everything possible to get my shooters in Vlahos, Contrell, Croce open looks, and we are going to try to clamp down in the middle and keep J.P. Dixon out of there. Steeser will pick up a foul there uh, as Keith uh, was, drove in. Okay, I thought he got blocked. All right. That was a block, and then after that, foul was called. Okay. Came through the body. Got it. It's a lot, it's a lot, of, it's a lot of player coming at you <laughs> at, <laughs> at once, so it's hard to make that stop, you know? I'm not kidding. Steeser's a Hamilton kid, so I'm sure he must know some of these Nottingham guys pretty well. I am sure. Yeah. Steeser blocked out, but instead the ball ends up in Dickerson's hand. He turns it over. Foley turns on the Jets, and a long pass, and Vlahos, the beneficiary, he finishes at the rim. 24-18. That's one thing Nottingham wants to stay away from. They did a good job of it in the first half is, is turnovers. Dickerson steps into the lane. Floater in and out. Loose ball. Picked up by Cottrell. As Foley on the run again. As expected, the Irish are, are beginning to push the tempo themselves. Because believe it or not, they are probably better in when the game is fast. Yes, they have the best big, one of the best bigs in the league, but they are really good when they get up and down. Mathelier with a finish on the other end. 24-20. Good pressure by Vlahos. Keese gets around. Fires it to Raymond. Raymond hits the jump shot. Not used to seeing Raymond shoot from out there. When we played him, he did. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we're, I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> and what's the call? It's a charge. Dom Raymond got set, anticipated, and Chris Rob is out on the floor applauding him. Yeah, well, you, if you're taking a charge, you really want to take it against that guy. Try to get him in some foul trouble. Takes a lot of heart to do that against. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, it does. Keese walking it up. What is that, two on Steesh? Do we know of? I think it's three. It's three, it's okay. It's three. Well, they got to watch that. he's out of the game. Mathis yeah. in. And a foul. 
North Star six point lead. Nottingham coming in as the six seed, trying to unseat the three seed Notre Dame, who really have played well the last three to four weeks. Yeah, they really have. I mean, they lost that game. We Well, you weren't there. They lost that game to TCPA, but they had some guys out hurt, some guys sick. Uh, Dickerson, another flashy move, but he missed the shot. Foley initiating some contact, picks up his dribble, and fires it across court. But, yeah, they have, they've kind of gelled. Well, Nottingham's been playing well, too, yep. of late. But Nottingham always, they're always bet they're they're what you want. They're always that better team in February than they were in December. True testament to Chris Robb. Yeah. Inside, Ooh. nice move, spinning move, and the finish by Vlahos. Took a little hop there before he started his drive. We might have missed that one fish. <laughs> I think we got an extra pair of stripes in the, in the locker room if you, you want to go out there. <laughs> no, no, I <not> mean. <laughs> Hey, I'm pretty tame with these guys. You ought to see the flash when he gets upset. Oh. Uh-oh, the point guard throwing papers out on the court. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dom Raymond off the window. Oh. Brianne's rattled over there. Just waiting for somebody to slip on that. Yeah, what's going on the over station. there? Yeah. <laughs> Foley fell down, loose ball. Long pass, Raba tracks it down. Dishes inside, Raymond. Some contact, no whistle. Fight for the ball. Dickerson has it. And then gets tied up. Well, the first shot. Good job by Mathis. The first shot, Croce blocked. And Trem then, uh, go ahead. Tremendous job by Croce to wall up on the Dom Raymond uh, body bump and then block the shot. Yeah, because Raymond is, is, is a tough, thick kid. Just well built. So he may not be as imposing looking as Skeesh is, but he's, you don't want you don't want to body up with him sometimes either. I would not. <laughs> Lemley trying well, you to... would, but I wouldn't. I mean, I got a couple extra pounds over here, but we're okay. <laughs> Lemley missed the layup, contested. Cottrell pulls down the rebound. Foley working it right. Now passes left, top of the key. Croce, nice head and nice. shoulder fake, and a lay-in. So smooth, Croce. Jake Croce. He really was. That was nice. 28-24. Great shot fake. Left hand dribble, left hand layup. That's what seniors do. Player right. under control. Four minutes. Yeah, how many third times quarter. we see guys shoot with their right hand going in from the left side and get it blocked. Too many to count. Raymond uh -oh. moves in. Foul! And the bucket! Dom Raymond! The bull. I just love the patience that he plays with around the rim. He's got that old man YMC on a Sunday, you know, like, he, listen, nothing flashy. He gets to his spots. He waits, he waits, he waits, and he finishes it. Is he playing the same league as Rich Fisher? <laughs> He'd give Fisher 50. <laughs> Why, because he's got that old man way of doing things? Is that what you're hitting out there? Listen, uh, man, I think it, so, yeah. it, is, it isn't, look at this. Oh. It isn't pretty, but he gets the job done. Oh, it does, it does. It's pretty to me. I, I think it's pretty to you, too. You like to see a kid just grind oh, listen, it like that. Listen, when we played them, he was one of the—he honestly was the best player on the floor. I've seen that in a few games this year. Lajos will go to the line. Good passing by the Irish. Old man on a Sunday afternoon, so he gets off his rocking chair, <laughs> off his. See, this was this, <laughs> this was the personality I was hoping would come through today because last year. I think Don was a little nervous. He didn't really know, you know. A little conservative, a little conservative yeah, yeah. last year. Well, we all are. I, think at the start. Now, I got a contract extension. That's why. That's, that's right. Now, that's right. Now, now you feel secure. To, you know, yeah. Maybe, yeah. That's part of it. And there's something about us that this lends to idiocy after a while. <laughs> you just get sucked into it. <laughs> Wahos connects. All right, just keeping it right at a tight game. Alexander short six. on the three. Yeah. That was a great job by the North Stars getting out in transition and finding the shooter up the floor. Lajos looking up, running the floor. Fires to Croce in the corner, gets it up top. Luke Foley got the three. Irish coming, storming back. It's 30-29. Absolutely. I mean, just when you think the Irish are, are, are down, momentum's going the other way, they're so good because they are so senior-led. They honestly, every time you think they're done, their seniors find a way to come back. 
since 1899. Proud to be a part of your greater Hamilton Township community is Saul Funeral Home. Saul Funeral Home is a fourth generation family owned business that proudly supports our community and has guided families in Mercer County when they need it the most. They're caring, dedicated and compassionate staff, always ready to go above and beyond to bring you the closure you deserve while celebrating the unique life of your loved one. Visit their website at SawFuneralHomes.com. That's SawFuneralHomes, homes with an S, dot com. Saw Funeral Homes is proud to sponsor today's game and hopes you enjoy it. Keep going? Yeah, okay. I was on a roll, I was a runaway train. Ah, the Italian People's Bakery is proud to support high school sports on the WBCB Sports Network. Visit them at their signature location at 63 Butler Street for finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Drive by to smell that homemade bread made daily or have them cater your next party or fair. The Italian People's Bakery, located on 63 Butler Street, is a place to go for the best hoagies on Sunday afternoon and the finest dessert trays for your special get-together. Visit them once again at 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg, the Italian People's Bakery since 1936. 30-29 out of the timeout. Dickerson, two steps, got fouled, wow. and somehow went in. And it, was no, it wasn't even a bounce around Duncan, it swished through. You know, with a name like DeLeo, Don, you could probably, <laughs> you could probably cook for Italian People's Bakery. <laughs> Are you a great Italian chef? Uh, I, I have to say I am not. Uh, I, I eat Italian food a lot, but I don't cook it. <laughs> Dickerson converts the three-point play. That's all right. Kenny Rankin scored a career-high 31 as Ewing moved on. Just a note. All right, very that good. I saw on Twitter. Shot for three. Bang! Another one. Chris Lajos. Lajos if he was, gets going, that's he's got, trouble. He's got nine in this quarter alone. Yep. And the war is on. 33-32. Inside Dickerson. Another oh. nice move and a finish. Wow. The hang time and what he does while he's hanging. Luke Foley, empty lane. <laughs> Go to the lay-in. This is the game we thought we were going to have from, yeah. from, the, from the start. Up and down, back and forth. Everybody's loose. 35-34. Stats are no longer easy to keep. Blahos <laughs> <laughs> with a steal. To the rim. Way to get the and two one. It's a great job by the senior. Attacking the rim under control. Getting the two feet. Drawing the contact. And finishing for the old school three-point play. Blahos. Gives the Iris the lead. This kid is just carrying them right now. Guess I shouldn't call him a kid when he's a senior. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> this young, young man. Young, young adult. Yeah, this young adult. And I think Vlahos is over there getting some attention from the trainers. Well, technically right now, that because he is the game has stopped for Vlahos, he's going to have to come off for a play. But he's got, who sh somebody got to shoot the foul so shot then, for him? Yes, so then that okay. would be Notre Dame, Tim Stevens will pick a player off of the bench to be able to shoot this free throw. All right. Hmm. That's a shame because Vlahos is in the zone. Well, they're letting him come Should, out. Shouldn't be allowed to shoot that. Yeah. Huh. Smiling yeah. Abe is talking to him. Yeah. Smiling Abe does whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't tell Rob Riley, please. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Rob doesn't watch us. He's probably out in Wisconsin somewhere doing he probably, a game. He probably should. <laughs> also, he's going to shoot it. This for the three-point play. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> whatever do you mean? <laughs> uh, oh, that's, well, moving on. <laughs> 209 third quarter. <laughs> Notre Dame now has a two point lead. And just like that, the Notre Dame hooligans are here yeah. up and cheering. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of great crowds at a variety of different schools. This one, very good as well. They're pretty good. <laughs> they're not the herd, <laughs> but they're pretty good. Of, but I'm biased, right? Yeah. I'm biased. <laughs> Dickerson, two on one. Raymond oh. got blocked. Going the other way, Jake Croce, incredible block. Wow, Croce is just doing it at this end of the court. Good grief. 
Iris with all I'm, the momentum. I'm issuing over to, uh, to uh, Smile and Abe that it probably should have been a jump ball, but he is uh, waving me off because he's always right and, I, and I'm always wrong. There you we've, go. We've, we've never got a technical here the, on the, in the bait on the announcing table. We might get our first technical. Maybe. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luke Foley dances in. And a foul on the floor. Be careful what you wish for, Flash. <laughs> you wanted the you wanted the unleashed on De Leo. You got it. I did. That's exactly what I wanted. Notre Dame inbounds. Cottrell pumps for the three. I have to Waits. say the North Stars have done a great job on Donovan Cottrell. He really hasn't been able to really get many shots off. No. No, Vlahos has really just been carrying him. Lajo swings it right. Shot for three. Drained. He, Donovan Cottrell. He must have heard. Yeah. He must have heard us over here, guys. Alexander to match. He does. Talk about the announcer's jinx or whatever you call it. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Yeah. 40 to 38. Irish and the North Stars trading threes. How big has Dante Alexander been? Massive. Foley stops, passes right. Lajos fell down on the dribble drive. Loose ball picked up by Keese. Raba thought about a triple, kicks it out. Alexander pumps, moves in. Raba, that one got blocked. Loose ball picked up by Notre Dame. Quickly up ahead, Vlahos steers his way in, lost the handle, and I believe a timeout was called by Tim Stevens, 30 seconds. Great time now by Tim Stevens there. 40 seconds left yeah, in the third settle quarter. Settle everybody down. Oh, this is the 30 second, I better do this quick. The Hamilton Township Division of Health offers a variety of free services to keep you and your community healthy. It is important for everyone to stay up to date on recommended vaccines. Whether you or a loved one needs an annual flu shot, a COVID-19 vaccine, or a pneumonia shot, Hamilton's Division of Health is ready to help. Are you or a loved one homebound? The division's caring nurses will bring your vaccine to you. For families that may be uninsured, underinsured, I'm sorry, or uninsured, the division offers free routine vaccinations for children. Most residents of Mercer County are able to take advantage of the free and confidential STI and HIV testing clinic. The staff at Hamilton Township Division of Health are experienced and proud to serve the Hamilton community. Visit hamiltonnj.com slash health backslash health for more information, services, and upcoming clinics and eligibility. That's hamiltonnj.com backslash health. What a game this is turning out to be. 40-38. Inbound goes into Cottrell. Merluse holding straight on in the front court. Yeah, if there's anyone that didn't think this was going to be a battle royale. <laughs> 27 seconds. Notre Dame trying to hold for the last shot. Foley spinning around. Keys on him. Raba almost comes away with a turnover. Good pass, cutting to the basket. Cottrell with a layup. Well done. Who's that? Merluse threw that in there? Yep. Yep. Dickerson. Floater with a left hand. Connects. 42 40. One second. Oh! At the buzzer, Chris Blahos on fire. I missed it. Wait, how far out was he? From half court. Not. Maybe a step inside the circle. Maybe. Doesn't really matter, guys. It what went in finish. the basket. Yeah, well, that, I'm upset that I missed it. <laughs> 45 to 40. And that, sir, is why I don't keep stats. I know why you have to do it. Well, but somebody's got to do it. I know. <laughs> Five point lead for the Irish after that great shot by Chris Vlahos. Back for the fourth quarter after this. Here are three exceptional dining spots. 
PJ's Pancake House, bringing you the best pancakes since 1962, along with great burgers and sandwiches. More than just breakfast, PJ's Pancake House, with four locations in Mercer County. In Princeton, visit More Than Q Barbecue, offering savory barbecue fusion dishes in homemade sauces. And when in Lambertville, visit Tavola Rustica for classic Italian dishes like pasta, veal, chicken, and their famous pizza. All three great restaurants are good. It was the Chris Vlahos third quarter, and he made one from just about half court to extend the lead to five for Notre Dame, who has it to begin the fourth quarter. Wild shot falling down, no good. Fight for the board. 15 points for Vlahos in that quarter. Unbelievable. Quarter load. What a great yes. career that was, one day, one quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Jump ball, so Nottingham has it. You wonder how big that shot could turn out to be. North Stars down by five. Alexander, oh. good dish, but got deflected. Out, they say, on Dom Raymond. I, I saw it go off Raymond's. It looked like it was off his fingertips. Yeah, how's Nottingham? Got, that could be a gut punch, something like that. Really got to kind of, you know, sort of react to that uh, or shrug it off or whatever. And Steve Schermathelier is still on the bench. He has three fouls. Yeah, how about that? Vlahos looking to stay hot. I mean, Gives way to Merluz. Cottrell, back up top, Vlahos moving right into the corner, wide open three, no good. Put up that time by Mathis. Keese looking to set up the offense. Right now I think the North Stars hopefully are going to go to one of their go-to continuity offenses or quick hitters, looking to get something good going, get some momentum building. Trell almost got into the passing lane, and Keese heads to the free throw line, and he's uh -oh. shaking up. He's hobbling. He dealt with that ankle injury before, and he's holding it. Have a couple of Nottingham players playing through pain. Yep. Jordan Raba as well. Chris Raba will take a timeout. I expect the North Stars to hopefully show some 1 3 1 here in the full court in the next. Probably a minute or so to kind of speed the game up, kind of get them back in it. Corn Vittori and Mercer and Bucks County's all new Hyundai of Trenton. All new Hyundai models, pre owned cars, SUVs, all types of models. Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory ready for delivery. 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing Township. Jammer doors and windows, fourth generation family owned business since 1920. With showrooms in Lawrenceville and in Yardley, Jammer provides sales, service, installation of garage doors and openers. Featuring Rainer Garage Doors, both steel and aluminum. Rainer Garage Doors are crafted for durability. Jammer also has entry doors, patio doors, storm doors, and windows. They do their own work, no subcontractors. Visit their showroom, 2850 Brunswick Pike Business Route 1 in Lawrenceville. Yardley Showroom, open by appointment. You can call 215-493-7709. Hey, as I'm just getting to these third hey. quarter stats. And I don't know if I maybe missed a shot or not. I have Notre Dame shooting 11 for 12 wow. in that third quarter. Now they played great. Obviously, these are not. You know, you can't you can't make bets on these stats, but they're they're pretty close. And 11 for 12, even if it's 11 for 13, that's sick. I thought the uh, Irish did a good job in that third quarter of really getting high percentage shots though, right? Like as you said, 11 for 12 from mm -hmm. the field. I mean, a lot of their buckets were around the rim. A lot of their threes were good penetration and kick, wide open ones. Also hit all three of their foul shots. That helps too. Yep. Keese nails them both. Three point lead. Irish. Foley Here dishes to Cottrell. Here it is, 1 3 1 in the half court. Yep, you called it. They're going to throw J.P. Dickerson up front and have him just be an athlete. <laughs> Which, what he does best. <laughs> he, does, he does athlete pretty well. Yeah. Alexander a little overzealous, got called for the foul. There go. That's only four, four fouls on Nottingham? Okay. What's interesting right now is that with the North Stars still having two fouls to give, they can be ultra aggressive for the next probably two or three possessions down the floor defensively. Right. Mathelier comes into the game. 
6.33 left to go in the contest. Yeah, he missed a good chunk of that. He did. Third quarter. Sure. That's what foul trouble could do. <laughs> Vlahos has another three. Oh. Little long. Long rebound picked up by Dickerson. Bounce pass to the left, and Lemley just lost it off his fingertips. Foley kicks it out into the corner. Vlahos fires it back to the corner. Foley short on the three. Rebound goes right to Lemley. Lemley to Dickerson. No whistle, contact. Fight for the rebound. <laughs> Dom Raymond rips it away. There he is. Step back. Into the lane, Raymond, it's saved by Dickerson, but goes right to Vlahos. Vlahos one-on-one, -on -one. moves in, floats it off glass, no good. Stiescher grabs the rebound and gets fouled. Well, Vlahos has cooled off a little, but uh, maybe it's time for Stiescher to start stepping up. I expect the uh, Notre Dame big man to try to impose his will over the next five and a half. Yeah, I mean, he's your D1 player. It's tournament time. Stiescher shooting two. In and out. He has had a rough day from the line. That makes him one for five from the line. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. One of two. Pours that one in. Mercer County Tournament, first round. Who's going to Cure Insurance Arena? We are. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. Oh, you mean these guys out here? <laughs> No, Don, you'll be there with us. I play Tuesday night at Pennington. Ah. 46-42. I'm not going in. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got your tickets to Elton John that day. Anyway. <laughs> you won't be there. Yeah. Keese. Now it's Springsteen this year. <laughs> Springsteen on the high screen. <laughs> Keese passes to the right. Alexander has had a great game. Back out. Lemley steps back. Good passing by the Stars. Good defense by the Irish. Yes, it is. Right. Oh, Keese no, yeah. into the lane. Stolen away. Cottrell anticipated the pass. Yes, well, Steescher kind of had to curve away. Or Dickerson had to turn away from uh, Steescher. Intercepted. Alexander to Dickerson. Moves in. No whistle. Missed the layup. Way too many of those from the North Stars. Yes. Having their opportunities. Jake Croce running the floor. Yeah, they've Cottrell. had a few rim hangers there that just didn't go the other way. Down on the block, Stiescher fires up a wild shot. He missed it. Okay, well, Dom okay. Raymond got fouled. <laughs> I mean, he got great position. He had what he wanted. He just, he just missed it. Mm -hmm. Jordan Raba coming back in. Well, now it's one and one. Seven foul for Notre Dame. Yep. Five for Nottingham. Now, was that foul on Stiescher? Uh, they're they're not putting him on the board. No, they don't put him up, up, yeah. That drives us crazy, Don. <laughs> we, <laughs> never, we never know. <laughs> we just never know. <laughs> one and one for Raymond. These are massive now. Every free throw now, of course, is massive. Nothing but net. Pretty cool customer. Three-point game. J.P. Dickerson yelling something out there. Two-point game. 46-44. Irish with the lead. I'll tell you, Nottingham's hanging tight. We're talking about Steescher, but Nottingham's gotten hardly anything from Robin and Lemley. Lemley doesn't have a point yet. Croce turns it over. Alexander rushing with the ball. Steps in. Off glass. Oh. No. Raymond oh one-hand tip in. For a big man, he's got soft hands. A dozen, you know? My goodness. Tom Raymond has showed up in full force. Another takeaway. North Stars with it. Tie game. Foul. A block and one. J.P. Dickerson. Here come the North Stars. Well, you know, you get they love to get transition buckets. That's how they like to do it. Dickerson, Raymond, and Alexander have been massive in this game for Nottingham. No question. 
Can we just point out how calm, cool, collected Chris Rauda is right now on the sidelines? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, listen, in, in a tight game like this, I mean, he is just cool, calm, collected. Yeah, he's kind of mellowed a little over the years. <laughs> I, I think he's been here before. You know, he's been in these moments. Yeah. You know, he, he's used to this. Yes, he is. North Stars with a two-point lead. Dickerson couldn't convert. Mathis just holding the basketball. Nobody's near him. Foley steps in for three. Can't hit. Rebound goes right back to him. A foul. Oh. Count it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. The, the one ref looked at Abe. 1490 WBCB. Good hustle by Foley. Missing a shot, following it up. Foul on Raymond. Oh, man. Well, we, we said that these three through six teams are so even. Well, the first game was a one-pointer, Hamilton Robbinsville, and this one's tied with 3.30 to go. Foley missed, goes out of bounds, and they say it's off of the North Stars. 3.27 to go. I got to say, the last probably two or three possessions, the North Stars have not done a great job of limiting second chance opportunities, which have led to some, some big buckets for the, for the Irish. Yeah. Down on the block, Stiescher, easy money. Timeout taken by Tim Stevens. All right, today's game is brought to you by the Hamilton Educa Township Education Association, who would like to take this opportunity to wish all of our students best of luck in this school term. We are proud to support you. This message brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association. Just that part. Uh, come out to the theater. Steiner will be performing Susical on February 23rd through the 25th at 7 p.m. each day and 1 p. on the 25th. Oh, I guess that's 1 p.m. <laughs> 1 p.m. on the 25th. Tickets are $10. Nottingham will have the Percy Jackson musical, The Lightning Thief at 7 p.m. on March 2nd through 4th. Hamilton West will be presenting The Wedding Singer on March 9th through 11th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at http uh, hhw.booktix.com. And I guess that's it. And there's, there's Stein, that Steiner Theater play as a legacy, rich tradition, as Rich Fisher was once a <laughs> member of the How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying cast. <laughs> I put forth a wonderful singing job. Do, do we have a tape of that? Thank God, no. Huh. Thank, oh, God, thank God there were no cell phones back then. <laughs> well, then I moved on to the All Township production of The Music Man. Okay. And I was a dancer. That's where you really wanted the uh, video. Oh, no question. I was wearing knickers and ballet wow. slippers. How about that? So you see that Hamilton Township has a rich tradition of great theater men. <laughs> 321 left in the game. The bar is not set high for current actors. Nope. <laughs> Almost a steal and a whistle. Joe Lemley is a theater is a play guy. He helps out for Nottingham's plays. Foul on Nottingham or uh, the Irish rather, and to the line goes Dom Raymond. Super undisciplined there by the Irish to, to, to foul, essentially you know all the way in the backcourt. Yep, and that was up two. That's their ninth foul. This is one and one, but the next one two shots. Raymond was rock solid on his first two. Nope. Short. Stiescher got the ball knocked loose by Dickerson. Gets it to Foley, though. Foley moving quickly up the floor. Lost the handle. Timeout. Tim Stevens has to use one. Hmm. 3.09 left. 50 to 48 lead for the Irish. Don't forget, if you miss any of today's action, you can read all about it in tomorrow's edition of the Trentonian. For your complete local and national news seven days a week, it's the Trentonian or online at trentonian.com. The only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week, it's the Trentonian. Since 1899, proud to be a part of your greater Hamilton Township community is Saul Funeral Home. Saul Funeral Home is a fourth generation family owned business that proudly supports our community and has guided families in Mercer County when they need it the most. Their caring, dedicated, and compassionate staff is always ready to go above and beyond to bring you the closure you deserve 
while celebrating the unique life of your loved one. Visit their website at SawFuneralHomesWithAnS.com. That's SawFuneralHomes.com. Saw Funeral Homes is proud to sponsor today's game and hope you enjoy it, and why wouldn't you be? <laughs> Blahos, good pass into the middle. Mathis fires and hits. Huge. Four-point lead for Notre Dame. Big shot from the junior reserve off the bench. Absolutely. Keys directing traffic in the front court. Onto the near wing. Dribbles in on Vlahos. Floating shot, no good. Tipped out, Raymond fights for it. North Star ball, out of bounds on Foley. Not a great shot from the North Stars there, right? I, mean, I, feel, no. like, I feel like obviously Coach Rob is probably yelling at him already, but like looking to get something better than that towards the rim from Keys. Right. Keys to inbound, bounces it into Dickerson. Every possession huge now. Dickerson moves into the lane, floater, won't go. Trying to rip it away from Lathelier, but he can't. Foley through contact. Outlets the pass up top. Blahos, he oh, traveled. Yep, yep. That's that hop you were talking about in the third yeah. quarter there, Fish. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Sometimes they get it, and sometimes they don't. <laughs> What's that song called, Return of the Mac? Return yes. of the Hop? Uh, what is that? Is that semi-modern? Because I wouldn't know it. Uh, yes, I think it's. <laughs> That's not Elton John, fish. I'm sorry about that. I apologize. I apologize. I should have. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He should have known. <laughs> Keese gives to Raba up top. Alexander for another three. Oh, short. Dickerson saves it. Tremendous effort. Cottrell had it saved right to him. Yeah, Foley Trell was in the right spot. Moves it across half court, stripped away. Oh, what fight. <laughs> and we'll see what a smile and Abe call. Rob is calling over and back, but Rob doesn't have a striped shirt on. He has two stripes on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think Tim Stevens got another timeout. But how many more does he have is the question. Uh, one, I think. After I, using this one, he should only have one left. Yeah, yeah. yep, down to one. 52-48, Irish with a lead. First round of the Mercer County Tournament. Oh, whoop. The Italian People's Bakery is proud to support high school sports on the WBCV Sports Network. Visit them at their signature location at 63 Butler Street for the finest rolls, deli meats, and pastries. Drive by to smell that homemade bread made daily or have them cater your next party or affair. The Italian People's Bakery, located on 63 Butler Street, is the place to go for the best hoagies on a Sunday afternoon, especially tomorrow, and the finest dessert trays for your special get-together. Visit them once again at 63 Butler Street in Chambersburg, the Italian people's bakery since 1936. My goodness. And what a game. What a triple header I know some here on the network. Then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah give them Neil 36, Diamond. 1936, no. Those, that, those were the years of, like, uh, Bing Crosby and those guys. I think yeah. you were talking about the song that was playing. Oh, no, no, okay. no. That, when, when the Italian People's Bakery was founded. I got you. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Correct. Yes, very long. Born the Depression. Luke how, Foley. How old were you then, Fish? <laughs> <laughs> about five. Yep. <laughs> you remember some of it. <laughs> were you depressed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wide open Vlahos. Can't hit the three. Rebound goes to Foley. Lofts it up. No whistle. Batted around. Out of bounds. Irish ball. Irish retain possession. Minute 31. North Stars need a stop. Actually, I think my mother, my mother was born in 36. Hmm. Yeah. It's a good year. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> she pass <laughs> in. Wide open three. Oh. In and out by Mathis. Long pass, Raba, two steps in, missed the layup. Oh, that was huge. Very huge, oh boy. Vlahos, baseline jump shot, no good. Mathis fighting for the board and he grabs it. Minute seven to go. Stischer spins, got fouled. Well, Nottingham's gotta get, get up and go here. That missed layup, oh boy. I mean, I know I already said it, but I mean, over the last three or four minutes, the second chance opportunities that the Irish have gotten off of the North Stars' mistakes yep. has really come back to bite them. 
Massive free throws for Mathelier. Cans the first. Got them both. 54 to 48, Dickerson. Spins into the lane, nowhere to go. Great D. Out to Raymond, Keese. Baseline, oh. blocked. Cottrell sends it away. And Dickerson a little shaken up, rather Keese a little shaken up. You know, you're worried about Mathalia in there, but Cottrell and uh, Croce, they've done a good job rejecting a few shots. 49 seconds left. Stays with the Stars. What a great job Notre Dame did defensively. They collapsed inside, and if they tried to get it back out for three, they reacted and got back out. Dickerson oh, that's lost Dickerson. it off his yeah. knee. North Stars turn it over. And the defense prevailing for the Irish. Croce checks in. He's going to get the rebound, or the inbound, rather. <laughs> One of those bounds. He did grab a lot of rebounds, <laughs> I must say. Who's that? <laughs> Croce. Croce. He's got five. Yep. Oh, Foul. There's a one and one coming up. 37 seconds. These are huge. They can make it a three possession game. Yep. Just like that, all the Hamilton West players have begun to head to the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling they wanted to play Nottingham. They wanted it to be that Hamilton sure. backyard brawl. I think a lot of us wanted to see that. Yeah, yeah, it would, would have been interesting. Well, let's not count the stars out yet, but it's really going to be tough now. Yep. Now a three possession game with 37 seconds left. Stranger things have happened. Croce, no problem on either one. Well, since trailing 48-46, Notre Dame has outscored the Irish 9-0. Yep. Irish faithful, pretty happy. Tell them to start the buses. Alexander has it off the inbound. Working his way through traffic, inside, no foul, and a good layup. Chris Robb will take a timeout, 29 seconds to go, down by six. It's a great decision by the, uh, by the North Stars there to go with the quickest available bucket. Right. So Robb can use one of his last two timeouts, set up some sort of pressure in the full court here. And Notre Dame was willing to give it to him. They weren't about to foul. And they'd rather see him drive to the hoop than. So if you're Tim Stevens now, what are you planning for? Um, I mean, well, again, what I'm planning for or what the North Stars do are two different things, right? I mean, <laughs> really depends. I mean, it could be, listen, Chris Robert could go full court man to man right now, and then that's going to be, you know, some sort of press break, you know, against the man, or they may go to their 1-3-1. One, one. You know, it really depends on what they're going to be in for what we're going to run. Um, I'm a big believer, and I do a little couple of things on the baseline. We'll, you know, we'll throw it out of bounds. We'll go long. We'll do different things, but. You know, so do you foul right away though, Don, if you don't get a steal? Depending on who has the arrow right now, we can't see the table, obviously. Oh, they foul. Dickerson went for the steal. And Foley will go to the line. You know, there's only so many factors, right, in that fish. Yeah. You just don't know, you know, if you have the arrow, you and again, 30 seconds left, you know, you say, hey, one trap and then a foul. You know what I mean? You never know. Right. Um, Absolutely. Look Foley trying to put this game on ice. Well, if you're going to win a tournament, you got to make foul shots. And he Missed. Misses. Oh, and it, oh, Raymond. Okay. Can, can we start calling you the jinx? <laughs> All I was doing was making a comment. <laughs> Keese launches a three. Short. Long rebound. Alexander keeps it alive. Raba for a triple. Way long out on Foley. Ten seconds left. North Stars miss a couple of threes. Yeah. Now they need to hit one fast. I thought Keese might have had that one. 
You might have, you'd have to wonder if that leg injury is really Alexander got blocked by Mathis. Yeah, you do. You've got to wonder if that leg injury is really bothering Jordan Robbins' jump shot. Yes. You know what I mean? It might just alter his shot just a little bit. Just, just enough. Yeah. Raymond, well, they got to put it up. Blocked again. The Irish of Notre Dame headed to Cure Insurance Arena. They take down six seed Nottingham by a score of 56 to 50. I will let you guys handle the wrap up. I'm going to go get some players. And uh, who do you want me to send over? Uh, Vlahos, please. You got it. You're the man. All right, we'll take a timeout and come back with our player of the game after this on WBCB. 1490 WBCB 11. Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. Your vehicle is in good hands at Haldeman Collision, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They do it all at Haldeman Collision. Minor dents and dings, bumpers, windshields, major body, and frame damage. Free estimates, 24-hour towing, most insurance accepted, and loaners available. Haldeman Collision works with all makes and models. They'll go out of their way to getting your car back in brand new condition. Haldeman Collision, conveniently located 20 minutes from Langhorne, Princeton, and Ewing on Route 33 in Hamilton Township. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609 609- 882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine, the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. Back here with our Italian People's Bakery player of the game, Chris Vlahos. Chris, uh, 15 points for you in the third quarter alone. What happened at halftime? What happened in that third quarter for you? Well, in the first half, we had no energy. It was like we didn't even want to be here. So in the second half, it was like we were scared of the ball in the first half. So in the half during halftime, Coach Stevens, you know, he talked to us, he like, get the contact, get right by them if we can, and make plays. But the biggest thing was energy. We didn't have any energy in the first half. We thought just because we were the third seed, we would have had it, but it wasn't like that. They fought hard. Certainly Nottingham had a good plan for you guys, right? I mean, they kind of took Steesher a little bit out of the game, maybe took your offense out of rhythm. So what was the deciding factor in that third and ultimately fourth quarter you guys – uh, outscored uh, Nottingham 9-0 in that last stretch. Well, with, it, with them locking down Steesh, we had to get a next man up, and that was Noah. And Noah played great minutes for Steesh. You know, I was walling up, hitting a great shot. So I feel like our bench, our death, helped us so much in this. Well, how about for you? I mean, you obviously got red hot in that third quarter, and the exclamation point was the shot right by the logo. <laughs> so walk us through. You know, obviously – around how much time you have. Walk us through that play. So I wasn't really even, I thought I ran out of time and I just got the ball and I was just trying to bring the half court because our, co- our coach taught us like this trick to like bring the ball up and shoot it. So I just used that. It's like every dribble is a second. So I was just counting down the seconds and I just let it fly. And you had about a second and a half to spare. Yeah, but I messed it up a little bit. Yeah. No, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't really look at the clock, yeah, right? it's hard, yeah. Correct. So. You just launched that thing up. It went right in, but 15 points in that third quarter. So what really was the uh, the difference there, just getting open shots and obviously knocking them down? Well, in the first half, I realized the lock it down Stich, and I wasn't really doing that much being me. So in the second half, when Stich was out, I know I had to be that next guy up. So I was good into the open spots, and my teammates were hitting me just perfectly. You guys will uh, take on Ewing, obviously. They only have three losses this year, um, so... Now you could start to look forward to that matchup and playing at Cure Insurance Arena. It's got to be exciting for you. Very exciting. We lost last year, so we're excited to go back. Absolutely. Well, you played a great game, 15 points in that third quarter. 
Italian People's Bakery player of the game. That's for you. Best Thank of luck you. in the tournament. Thank you. You got it. 56 to 50. The Irish of Notre Dame advance to Cure Insurance Arena as they will take on Ewing, the number two seed. So it's the two and the three in Ewing and Notre Dame. And it was a little bit of an upset. Hamilton West, the five seed, beat Robbinsville by a point. That was also on the network. You can go back and watch that game. Again, if you missed it, wbcbsports.com. 49-48, the final there. And Trenton, we were there as well. Trenton, the number one seed, seems like they just rolled past everyone as they beat Princeton Day, the eight seed, 59-27. That also was covered by us earlier in the day. The triple header on the network here on WBCB. 56 to 50, thanks to the sponsors making this live stream possible today. Capital Health System, Holdem and Ford Subaru, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, the Revere Restaurant, Team Toyota, New Jersey Education Association, Notre Dame High School, and by the Hamilton Township Education Association, the Trentonian, Saw Funeral Homes, Hamilton Township Division of Health, the Italian People's Bakery, Hyundai of Trenton, Jammer Doors, as well as Mako in Ewing. Thanks to Brianne O'Neill, who produced this live stream. Thanks to Ryan Baxter on the camera. For my broadcast partners, Don DeLeo and Rich Fisher, this is Keith Noonan saying so long, and we'll see you at the Cure Insurance Arena right here on the WBCB Sports Network.